graph of polynomial functions. For a graph of polynomial function, we have to remember the following. First, the graph of any type of function must pass the vertical line test. Second, every polynomial function with real coefficients has the set of real numbers as its domain. Hence, it is continuous function. This means that the graph of a polynomial function has no breaks or gaps. Third, a polynomial function of the nth degree cannot have more than n roots. This only means that the graph cannot intersect the x-axis more than n times. And lastly, a graph of a polynomial function has only smooth rounded turns. A polynomial function cannot have a sharp turn. For the graph of a polynomial function, we have different properties to consider. So we have zeros of polynomial function. For a polynomial function of degree n, the function has at most n real zeros, and the graph has at most n minus 1 turning points. Turning points are the points at which the graph changes from increasing to decreasing or vice versa. Let us consider the given picture. There will be three turning points in this given graph. One, two, three. Three turning points. Intercepts. The x-intercept is the point at which the graph crosses the x-axis, while the y-intercept is the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. Let us take this given picture. Our x-intercepts are negative 1, 0, positive 2, 0, and positive 4, 0. These points cross the x-axis. And the y-intercept is 0, positive 8 because this point crosses the y-axis. Multiplicity of zeros Multiplicity of a zero is the number of times the real root of a polynomial function results in f of x equals zero. If we have even multiplicity, the graph will be tangent to the x-axis or touches the x-axis. And if we have odd multiplicity, the graph crosses the x-axis. Let us take this given picture. This one crosses the x-axis. Well, this point touches the x-axis. Behavior of the graph. And behavior is the behavior of the graph of a function to the far left and far right. Let us consider this table. If we have a sub n is greater than 0, or this is a positive, and our n or the degree is an even, we will have rising to rising. If we have a sub n is less than 0, or we have negative, and still our n is even, we have falling to falling. Otherwise, if we have a sub n is greater than 0 and our n is an odd, we have falling to rising. And if our a sub n is less than 0 and n is an odd, we have rising to falling. So this will be the behavior of our given graph. Let us have example. We have f of x equals 
x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. So our degree or the highest exponent will be 3. So this will be a cubic function. In factored form, we have f of x equals x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 3. So from this given factored form, the zeros are negative 1, positive 1, and negative 3. The x-intercepts are negative 1, 0, positive 1, 0, and negative 3, 0. And for the y-intercept, we have 0, negative 3. To get the y-intercept, our x will be equal to 0. So we have here 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 squared minus 0. So this will be all equal to 0. The remaining is negative 3. So since this is y-intercept, the value of our x will be 0. So we have 0, negative 3. Turning points, we have at most n minus 1. Our n is 3, so 3 minus 1 is 2. Multiplicity of roots, since our given roots a while ago are negative 1, positive 1. The given roots again are negative 1, positive 1, and negative 3. They are once repeated here. And 1 is considered as an odd number. Therefore, we have crosses the x-axis. The leading term again is x cubed. And then from this leading term, the end behavior will be a sub n is, po is greater than 0 because this one is a positive. And our n, 3, is an odd number. So, we have falling to rising. So, we have to sketch the graph of this cubic function. Again, we have the x-axis and the y-axis. Then, we have to plot the points, the x and the y-intercept. So, for our x-intercepts, we have negative 1, 0, 1, 0, and negative 3, 0. And for our y-intercept, we have 0, negative 3. And then, we consider our x cubed or the leading term to find the end behavior which will be falling to rising because our a sub n is positive and our n is an odd number. So we'll start with falling and then we will end to rising. And since the multiplicity of zeros are considered odd, the graph crosses the x-axis. So we have the graph of f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 as this. So it will cross the x-axis and again the number of turning points here will be 1, 2. And then we have falling to rising because we have a sub n as positive and n is an odd number.